welcome to this week's how to and we are talking all about irons and specifically how to keep them clean. I'm often saying if you look after your appliances they will look after you and exactly the same goes for your iron. So today I'm going to share with you how to clean it. You might wonder what I'm doing with an old towel, table salt, white vinegar and some newspaper but it will become clear um, in a moment. I'm going to pop the salt and the newspaper to one end. Now I have a Brantia ironing board. It's a size C so it's particularly big. I'm ironing bed sheets every week, sometimes quite a lot of bed sheets and so this ironing board is big, it's sturdy and it does an excellent job for me. This is my iron and I think it's great. It's a Tefal Express Compact and it's pretty powerful, it does an excellent job but we do need to keep it clean and in tip top condition. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this part. It has got some water in at the bottom and I'm going to add some white vinegar into that water. So it's about 50-50 um, consistency. 50-50 water and vinegar. That will be perfect. I'm going to slide it back in and I'm going to turn my iron on to the max setting that it goes on and let it heat up. When it has heated up and my light flashes when it's not ready but it's it's ready, I want you, I've got a steam button here and I want to get loads of steam. I want all the gunk to blast out onto this old towel. It might just need to get a little bit hotter but I can get a really good steam going once it's really up to temperature. And I can smell the vinegar coming through my holes and I don't know if you can see I have got some gunk building up there so we will just try and get that off onto the towel and just keep pressing that steam to get it through. lots more gunk. That bizarrely makes me very excited to see that coming out. I know, I am a bit bonkers. It's now spluttering, I can actually see the gunk physically fizzing out, which is absolutely excellent. Now take your time when you are doing this process with your iron because you want that vinegar to work its way through and break down all of the sort of build up of lime scale and crud that's in there. So, I mean, you can see the lots is coming out. I really need to do this. The vinegar can get in the back of your throat, so beware of that. Look, it's fizzing out, which is absolutely excellent. I'm just going to keep going. It might take 10, 15 minutes. You might need to just rest your iron and let the steam build up so you can press that button and really get it working and get it through. And also do it at different angles. Don't just hold it up. Do it, you know, down as well. And you can see, look, it's beginning to come out of the holes lower down as well. So it's important to move it around. When you have got all the gunk out and there is no more to come, or your water chamber is almost empty and you know that you've worked through that vinegar, stop. Now you can see the bottom of my iron is pretty filthy now. So I'm going to share with you 
the next step. I am going to take my, um, turn my iron off, take this off and just rinse it out and fill it up with fresh water. Pop the water back in and turn your iron on and you want it to heat up again onto a high heat. Wash that old towel. Mine is pretty filthy. Now I've also got some cotton buds and my white vinegar. But this is when we use the newspaper and salt. So I'm just gonna open up the paper and sprinkle over table salt, not sea salt. This is a job for table salt. When your iron is hot, work it gently in circular motions into the salt. and it will slowly start to work a lot of that um, off the bottom. It is slowly coming off. You can see we're slowly getting there. I might pop a little bit more salt down. We are getting there. It's taking a little bit of time. You just need patience. We are getting there. Let's see, it is coming off. And actually, I've only been doing this for a few minutes. We are almost there. It's just salt back in the middle. So the salt is just working as, a, as an abrasive to just take off that lime scale build up from the bottom that has come out of the holes. So I've got it pretty good. I'm now going to turn it off and just let it cool because I don't think I'm going to get that much more off. And just carefully fold that up. And that's when the cotton buds are going to become invaluable, but I want that to cool because at the moment it is roasting hot. So I just use normal tap water in here. I could use filtered water and that would reduce the lime scale build up and you know, the gunky build up, but it still happens anyway. And so rather than filtering water, I just use it from the tap and then clean it out. Um, Probably about every three or four months I do a job, you know, like like this, a proper, proper job, cleaning it um, really, really well. When that's cooled enough, we will use our cotton buds. If you wonder what that strange noise is, I currently <laughs> straddled a Labrador. I've got three dogs um, panting at my feet. Now, while that has been cooling, um, I just let a man in about a tractor. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to dip, so I've put some vinegar into the lid and I'm just going to dip this in. It's still quite warm, so I'm being careful not to burn myself, but just work those cotton buds into the iron. You want your iron to still have a little bit of heat, but not really steamy hot because then the vinegar sort of works in to the holes. And this is a really good way of just cleaning out the last bit of gunk that I couldn't get off. Hopefully you can see. Let me come round here. <laughs> you can see Lola now panting behind me. But the white vinegar works really, really well getting that off. So it's a really good way just to get any remaining gunk off. And you can really kind of work the cotton buds into the holes and clean them out. You can see, pretty filthy. So I just brought you up really close. 
and you can see how it's just getting all of that gunk off really quite effortlessly. And then just to finish off, I've put some white vinegar on here and I'm just giving it a really good wipe. The iron has cooled quite a lot, so there's still a little bit of heat in it, but um, it's pretty good. There is my iron clean. I really hope that you have found that helpful. It's a really great way to clean your iron. It's inexpensive, bit of table salt, bit of white vinegar, and just a little bit of patience. Let me know in the comments down below how you get on cleaning your irons. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon.